Elephants are under threat, rhinos are under threat, lions are under threat. People come here and spend enormous amount of money, create jobs. If these iconic species are, are decimated, it will affect people's livelihoods. Poaching is a huge problem. A Shepherd's mission is a attempt to use drone technology to fight wildlife crime. The use of drones is a new concept and would give the rangers a weapon that they have no access to today. The methods that have been used historically okay, are very conventional, chasing, um, shooting, tracking, and they only really did this during the daytime. Most of the poaching happens at night, so this is a big problem. With the advent of flying at night with drones, with special thermal cameras fitted to them, we hope to intervene in the poaching event before it happens, okay? Saving the animal and deterring the people rather than chasing people after they've killed the animal. We started uh, flying operations in Kruger National Park, in Shishlui Amphilozi, in Zimbabwe and in Malawi. Especially in Zimbabwe, we did have an impact. As soon as the word went out to the community that there's actually an airplane that flies around at night and it looks for poachers, I think the poachers, you know, were a bit weary and there wasn't as much poaching. We now um, employ 65 people, 45 of them pilots. We fly about a thousand hours a month in various locations um, and various countries. And we have been relatively successful in deterring people and finding people. If we do see somebody, we then tell the ground troops uh, where they are. We can then track them live. We can track the whole incident, okay, and give intelligence as to where the poachers are moving to, um, how many there are, and where the, the teams are in relation to the poachers. We have to conserve what we have. I mean, we've blessed with so much resources, we've blessed with so much beautiful wildlife, and we have to conserve so that, you know, come the next couple of hundreds of years or 50 years, we still have the very same wildlife that we've been blessed with.